in Gladstone's library. I don't know what it is that makes me choose this book. I'm standing in a glory of tomes that I will never read, shelf upon shelf of them, cloth spines and card on every aspect of theology you can imagine and all the ones you can't. I'm not a theologian, I'm not even a Christian, but oh, how I worship a library. I'm inhaling it as though it's single malt, a strawberry field, the passing aftershave of a lover I never got over on another man. I'm looking at white walls and wood, mullioned windows, the shining serious pates of visiting scholars, and I'm holding this book. It's called Problems of the Future, and it was published in 1889. It's William Gladstone's personal copy with an inscription from the author. Some of the pages are still uncut. I ask the book, why you? Why is yours the spine my finger found? It's not, if you'll forgive me, a compelling spine. I turn the pages. They are soft, each letter an indent, and they wake and stretch, loud in the unheard shushing of the library air. And then I find what's waiting. It's the final sentence in the chapter of what the universe is made of. But no one accused this author of a lack of ambition. I read, I can only say with Tennyson, behold, I know not anything, and content myself with the only creed that seems to me certain, that of doing some little good in my generation, and leaving the world a little better rather than a little worse for my individual unit of existence. I'm not a theologian, I'm not even a Christian, but I say, Amen to that.